Here's an example to illustrate the limitations of linear models. In general, a linear model might be okay for the short term, but in most contexts, in the long term, a linear model will break down. And we'll illustrate that here. So suppose a four-year-old boy is currently 39 inches tall, and you're told to expect him to grow an average of about two and a half inches per year. These are reasonable numbers, and we don't see a problem right away. But if we set up a growth model and project forward in time, we'll find that eventually this model stops making sense. The general linear model, again, looks like amount at any point in time is the original amount plus the growth rate times the amount of time that's passed. In this case, the boy's height is equal to his original height plus the growth rate times the number of years that have passed. Notice that here we're implicitly picking the current year to be year zero. Our initial height is the height right now, and then t will be measured in years from now. Again, at first we don't see a problem. For instance, if we predict forward two years, so to when he's six years old, we would predict that he would be about 44 inches tall, which is still a reasonable height. That's not terribly unexpected. But what if we predicted until he was 50 years old, let's say? So we'll predict his height at t equals 46, 46 years after he's four years old. And plugging in 46 for t, this model predicts that this boy will be 154 inches tall by the time he's 50, which is almost 13 feet tall. Of course, that's nonsense. And the point is that this linear model doesn't continue to hold true throughout his entire life. Obviously, he'll grow for a little while, hit a growth spurt, and then eventually his growth will stop when he reaches his adult height. So linear models can be good in the short term, but often in the long term, they give results that are unsustainable.